And welcome back to my channel. This is the man tutorials and what I do is to prepare students to pass their exams in good grades on English language and on literature. Please do well to subscribe if you haven't already so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And so also you can see the other videos I've already uploaded on this channel. So click on the subscribe button to also help us promote this video on YouTube. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching you the simple method of answering the five questions on rhyme in section 3 of your oral English test paper. In answering questions on rhyme, the only thing to do is to look for the option that the last label is the same with the last label of the given word. The only thing to do is to look for the option that the last label is the same with the last label of the given word. For example, if you are asked to choose among the options the word that rhymes with the word message, message, and you have option A, budget, B, passage, C, massage, and D, aging. The last label of the given word is A-G-E, A-G-E, age. Then, what we're going to do is to look for the option that has the same pronunciation or the same sound as the A-G-E in message. Not the same spelling, but the same pronunciation. Now, let's pronounce the options again. Option A, budget. B, passage. C, massage. And D, aging. You can see that three options B, C, and D have A, G, E in them. But because we are only considering the last label, we are going to strike off option D and option A because the A, G, E are not in the last label. Now, pronounce option B, passage, passage, and option D, massage, massage. You see, despite some of them having the same spelling in the last level, they both have different pronunciations. And the option that the last level sounds like the last level of the given word is option B, passage. The A-G-E in message sounds like the A-G-E in passage. Now, let's solve 2019 past question on oral english section three we have from the words lettered a to d choose the word that rhymes with the given word from the words lettered a to d choose the word that rhymes with the given word we have we have question 31 leisure leisure we have option a razor razor b sure C. Measure. Measure. And D. Pressure. Pressure. The correct answer to this question is option C. The last label of the given word is pronounced J. J. The last label of Reze is pronounced Z. Z. Please let me quickly give you this tip on the pronunciation of OR. A R and E R at the end of a word. O R E R and A R at the end of a word. I know most Africans will ordinarily pronounce razor as razor instead of razor. Please, whenever you see O R E R or A R at the end of a word, the pronunciation is E. Eh, a eh, is called schwa sound, a, eh, not a ah, or o. Oh. Reze, lete, kole. I hope you got that. Now let's go back. Option B, sure, sure. The O in sure and the J do not sound alike, the J. In the given word, do not sound alike. They don't rhyme. Option C, measure. 
Measure. This is the correct answer. It has the same sound with the given word. Then option D is pronounced pressure. Pressure. The last level is pronounced J. J and not J. Notice the difference. J is voiceless and J is voiced. J. When you are pronouncing J, you add more pressure. But when you are pronouncing J, it's lighter. That's why it's called voiceless. And J is called voiced. So, like I said earlier, the correct answer is option C. Measure. Measure. Leisure. Leisure. These levels, the last levels sound alike. So, that's the option C is the correct answer, like I said earlier. Now, let's look at question 32. Question 32. We have ballet. Ballet. That's the given word. Option A, we have pallet. Pallet. Option B, we have tablet. Tablet. Option C, we have chalet. Chalet. And option D, we have blanket. Blanket. The correct answer is option C. Option C. The T in ballet is silent, just like the T in chalet. So the last levels are pronounced A. A. Ballet. Chalet. Unlike the rest, where their T's are pronounced. So the given word rhymes with option C. Ballet. Chalet. Question 33. We have imbue, imbue, option A, undo, undo, B, diffuse, diffuse, C, recruit, D, undone. The correct answer is option A, undo. The last level of the given word imbue has the same sound as the last level in option A, undo. Options B, C, and D are not correct because the last sounds they have do not rhyme with the last sound of the given word. The last sound of diffuse is Z. Z. The last sound of recruit is T. And the last sound in undone is N. N. The last sound of the given word is you, you. Likewise, the last sound of option A, imbue, undo, imbue, undo. The last levels sound alike. The two of them have the U sound. Now, let's look at the next question. Question 34. We have waste, waste. Option A, we have placed, placed. B, we have caged, caged. C, we have host, host. And D, we have forged, forged. Did you notice that the last letter of the given word is different from the last letter of the answer, the correct answer? The given word has T as the last letter. But the correct option, the correct answer, option A, has D as the last letter. Option A is pronounced placed, placed. The D is pronounced as T, placed. I've done a video where I discuss the different ways to pronounce the past tense markers. You can pronounce the ED or the D that makes a word to become past tense can be pronounced as either t or t or id you can pronounce the t or id that makes a word to become past tense as either t, t or id for example pronounce this words loved loved liked Liked, wanted, wanted, 
please make sure you watch the video so that you will know how to actually pronounce the past tense markers. I will leave the link for you at the comment section and at the description box. Please watch the video if you really want to do well in oral English. Now let's go back to the question. We have option B, caged. Caged. The past tense marker is not pronounced as t as we have in option A, but as d. d. You will learn more in the video I talked about. Please endeavor to watch it. Option C, host, is not correct even though it has t or t as the last consonant sound. But the vowel sound which precedes the last consonant sound is not the same with the given word. The last vowel sound in waste is A, just like the last vowel sound in placed, A, placed, placed. So the two of them have the same vowel sound, the same diphthong, A. But the last vowel sound in host is L, host, host. Let me give you another tip, another important tip on how to pronounce O and OA in a word. Please, whenever you see O or OA in a word and Africans pronounce it as O, the right pronunciation is this diphthong, L, L. So you should pronounce the O and OAs that Africans pronounce as O as L, L, roads, roads, road, road, host, host. I hope you got that. Now let's go back to the question. Option D is pronounced forged, forged. It is totally wrong. The past tense marker is pronounced d, and the vowel sound is pronounced or. Long or. Now let's look at question 35. Question 35. We have thrive. Thrive. Option A. Move. B. Climb. C. Shrine. And D. Arrive. So we look for the option that has the last sound as I've. I've. The last sound in thrive is I've and among the options the only one that has the last sound as I've is arrive option D. So option D is the correct answer. The last sound of option A is oof oof. Option B the last sound of the last level is I'm I'm like in climb Option C. The last sound of the last level is ein, shrine, ein. Option D is the correct answer. I've, I've, arrive, arrive, which sounds alike with thrive, thrive. Please note that whenever you are choosing your answer, Make sure that the last sound, the last consonant, and the last vowel sound in the answer I want to choose rhymes with the given word. It is not just the consonant, the last consonant you have to consider, or the last vowel sound that you have to consider. You have to consider the both of them. So the both of them have to rhyme with the um, consonant sound and the vowel sound in the given word. Okay, that's it about how to answer questions on rhymes. Please, endeavor to watch the other video that I've done on the most frequently asked questions on oral English tests. It will really help you. I know it too. And if you have questions, please leave them for me in the comment section. I will answer them. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Share the video to your friends so you can get as many people as possible to watch this video. And don't forget to like if you have already subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. And I really wish you success in your exam.